And so to me, the, the full spiritual path is about us fully embodying ourselves, fully giving ourselves permission to be human. And so instead of the spiritual path just being about transcending and getting rid of our humanity, that's one level of it. Because when we do that, we become free and we learn who we are in our, in our ultimate nature. Which is great because from that space of our ultimate nature, our true nature, then the invitation is, can we come into form? And can we meet form with this sense of love, with this sense of embodiment? And can we meet all these aspects of our egoic mind, all these aspects of our evolutionary self with a sense of love? And so we have this paradoxical experience of, of being divine, being perfect, being completely open and free, and then being in these evolutionary bodies, these evolutionary forms. And sometimes within the evolutionary form, we have conditioning and sometimes the conditioning says, well, if someone throws sand in my eyes, well, then I'm going to throw sand back. If someone's mean to me, I'm going to be mean back. If someone hurts me, I'm going to hurt them back. And so we have this egoic mind within us that's an evolutionary mind, and it's just at its stage of development. So at a previous stage of development, the egoic mind you know, it was like a, a caveman or a cavewoman mind, <laughs> which is quite different than our mind. But we'll, we still have remnants of the, the cave, I'll be politically per correct here, the cave person's mind within us. We still have remnants of that within us. And so we may notice that we're driving down the road one day and someone cuts us off in traffic and all of a sudden, the caveman mind comes forward and says, I want to <laughs> run them off the road or something. But if we're going to give ourselves over to our divinity, if we're going to give ourselves over to, to this evolving sense of divinity, because God is also the movement of evolution, there's, a, there's the unborn nature, which is the vast, spacious, it's totally pure, totally divine in every moment. There's that nature, but there's also the evolving divinity. And so we give ourselves over to the evolving divinity. When the cave man, cave person mind arises within us, the invitation is, is can we meet it fully with love? Can we meet it with a sense of openness? Can we embrace it fully? And if it needs to have a, a little scream and a shout, can we give it space to allow that? Hopefully we're not projecting that at someone. But can we allow that to come forward? If there's tears of sadness or whatever, can we allow the sadness to come forward and tremble? Can we embrace that energy fully? And as we do, it lets go. It just naturally lets go. And it just naturally lets go into the spacious presence which we are. Now if we meet these, these arising forces within us fully and completely with this sense of love, well, they heal. They grow up, they evolve, and they transform. And so I think that was one of the things that I was going to speak about tonight, was the transformation of the heart. And so if we're going to allow this energy of our heart to come forward and to transform us, to transform our humanity, that means when there's pain within us, that we're open to it. And when, when there's pain within us, we embrace it. Now the normal egoic inclination is if, if there's pain, we run away, we push it away, we deny it, we ignore it, or we, we fight with it. And so that's what the, what the old mind does, what the egoic mind does. And so if we're going to be greater than that, if we're going to allow ourselves to be the evolving edge of divinity, then we let go of this mind, we let go of this, this fight, we let go of this struggle, and let this greater force move through us as us. We let this greater force come through us. And sometimes that's weird, it's bizarre, it's uncomfortable, it's awkward. 
You know, anytime we change, we have to walk through this. It's almost like a sense of darkness, a sense of confusion. You know, the awkwardness of the sixth grade dance of being the first person to walk out on the dance floor and say, hey, would you like to dance with me? It's an awkward experience. But if we want to grow, if we want to have the full experience of being human, we have to be willing to go through this. <clears throat> 